stationery and sort of planner crafting supplies haul to show you. I went shopping with the intention of buying equipment for making Christmas cards and I may have accidentally bought some stuff just for me and not for that purpose. Um, so I went to Hobbycraft, the range, to Wilco's and to Paper Chase just for one thing. Um, and yeah, we'll go in reverse order, I think. So we start with Paper Chase, where, as I said, I just got one thing. So I've been in there fairly recently, um, but I wanted to get this. Just open it up. So it's this. Oh, go over there. Um, just really, really cute, adorable packing tape, which I can't get into right now. Nope. But you can see it is little happy smiley Brussels sprouts with Christmas party hats on. So yes, that's just for wrapping all the Christmas presents. Um, then, so in Wilco, I didn't get any Christmas stuff at all. Some I might be used, might be used as presents for like my nieces and sisters. Some is just for me. And some, on my Instagram, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at some point, either for my birthday, which is in four weeks or so, or when I reach a certain amount of followers. I don't know, whichever comes first. So in Wilco, first thing was this, which is a memo pad which is the biggest memo pad ever which has this lovely little pattern on I use these constantly and it was the whopping price of two pound for all of this so I had to get that um, next just some sticky notes or speech bubble ones I have no idea what I'm going to use them for but they were only 75p so I had no choice um, got these mechanical pencils, not very exciting, but I use them all the time and Wilco's have them um, at the cheapest price. I went into Staples to get some and this same pack, which was £2 at Wilco's, was £4.75 in Staples, which is just ridiculous. I got this little tape runner thing, I think that's what they're called, which has this sort of arrow pattern on, which was also... Oh, £1.50, that's not bad. Got this notebook, which has, which is amazing inside. So each, there's four separate different kinds of page. So it has this one, which kind of looks like a day per page that a lot of people have in their final faxes. And there's two note pages with some blocks and a pretty heart. And then another sort of page that goes with this one. And it just goes like that over and over and over again. I have no idea what I'm going to use it for, but I just had to have it. And that was £3. Next, another one which I don't know if I'm going to use myself or give away. It says, look inside. Which, it's sort of like a journal. So each double page spread has this pattern on one side and then this where I'm guessing you would say circle the month of the day and then maybe journal in it or you could even write notes I suppose but whatever it's just really sweet there obviously isn't an entire year's worth in here but again really pretty couldn't resist for £1.75 we've got two of these teensy little notebooks that can go into a binder and they have grid paper and they were 25p each. I have no idea what to use them for, but they were 25p each. Then another notebook, just a little one for a pound. Not very exciting, but cute. Got one of these A5 plastic wallets. I have a thing for A5 plastic wallets. I don't know why, I have loads of them. This one has that same pattern on it's called the botanical range and it was 50p so yes very sweet i got oh i've dropped one on the floor two gel pens purple 
neon pink probably for not for me for giving away but they were cheap so I thought I'd grab them and the last thing from Wilco's was this book which I will be keeping for myself I don't know what I'll be using it for um, as you can see it was £2.75 it's got this lovely cover on which kind of looks like it's been done with scientific notes but in sort of an old school Victorian way another label of look inside but they're right because you have to look inside and it has different kinds of paper so that's the first kind then there's this kind of lined paper these patterns at the bottom and there's this kind well beetle and then lastly this one so yeah I absolutely had to have that so where shall we go next let's go to the range boring boring envelopes just for pen pals and happy mail and card making and things like that these so this is actually the things that i went shopping for for christmas card equipment these were three for two so they were 1.99 each but for three for two they cost me four pound got little felt christmas trees these little sort of puffy cloth sequin stars quite sweet remind me of sort of primary school nativity plays and these wreaths which i think are gorgeous those would be used for the more you know grandparents parents cards that are made Uh, just something boring and functional well glue runners because I get through these constantly I use them all the time um, someone on Facebook called them a glue mouse which I just think is the perfect name for them so that's what I'm calling them now glue mouse there are these self adhesive tags they're all with Santa and a snowman they're glittery and there's these ones which I really like with a robin and an owl um, even though they're tags I will probably actually use them in card making and they were £1.50 each some oh no those are from Hobbycraft I'll go back to those in a second uh, last two things from the range were paper pads there's this little pad with various designs Went through that a bit quickly. Where's the one I really like? That one is my favourite. So this pad was a whopping one pound, so I had to have that. And then this one was one of the main things I needed, which was a paper pad for making my Christmas cards. Um, now, those of you who are into card making and scrapbooking or buy paper pads for making dividers for your planners, know that these are usually pretty pricey and this one is double-sided cardstock so it's sort of the priciest version of any of these usually they would take you back anywhere between sort of 12 to 20 pound depending on like the make of the paper pack or the brand um but this one i found and i didn't have a price with it but i really like the patterns inside they're all really really nice and they're double-sided which i just i love double-sided this one is my favourite because it looks like a Christmas jumper. But anyway, so it didn't have a price on, so I took it to the till to ask her how much it was, expecting, you know, probably 14 15 thinking maybe 10 if I'm lucky. And then she said it was £2.50 and I may have squealed a little bit and the poor lady at the till gave me the weirdest look, thinking I was a crazy person, which I am, but you know, so yes got this absolute bargain i would have gone back and got some more but um the queue was ridiculous in that shop so lastly i went to hobbycraft which i'll show you the thing i accidentally showed you a bit of earlier so there's the little christmas toppers little woolly hats which was as you see a pound in the little sale section so those will be used for cards there are i got some just metallic gel pens gold and the silver one because I don't 
my other ones disappeared off the face of the earth and I've only got metallic markers which aren't so good for writing in cards because they're too, you know, bulky. Got some little owl page flags which will probably be a present or used in a giveaway but I thought they were very sweet. Some Merry Christmas stickers, glittery in gold and silver. I can't remember how much these were now. I think they were a pound each. Maybe two pound each, I can't remember for sure. Sorry, I'm dropping things everywhere. So, I'm going through the Christmas stuff. So some gold glitter border stickers, which can be chopped up and used in cards. But I may, may also be using the Christmas spreads in my planner as well. We will see. I've got these stickers, which I think I'm going to use on the envelopes as like a seal. Because I don't think they're going to go with the style of cards I'm going to make, but they were too sweet to not to get also a pound this was in the sale and it's a series of sort of Christmassy letters and there's two sheets in here which is really good for a pound and I'm going to use these to sort of personalize my cards like so if it's for someone called Abby I'll put an A on it or for someone called um, who else do we have Polly you know I'll put a P and things so yes, there's those. What else? We've got just these little metallic dots, just for use in planners. They were some cheap price of sort of 50p, so I had to get them. These chipboard stickers, which of which over 200 pieces, there's loads in here. So this the really nice sort of flower pattern or filigree I suppose you could also say but yes really like those they were maybe a pound maybe a pound fifty I think but a lot cheaper than you'd think I got for me nothing to do with Christmas a project life set one's got a bit straight I won't go into this in detail because otherwise we'll be here for hours this was eight pound just give you an idea roughly of the theme of the set some of this vintagey distressed look i think they're really nice i've got like a map one there i really like this postcard large card which i'll probably use in happy mail absolutely gorgeous but yes i said i won't go into that because it will be here for days and then lastly got a load of washi tape let's see i got this which i'm trying to get says hello um in the shop it actually looked like it was craft sort of paper style but it turns out it's actually gold but that's fine gold is good too maybe for a giveaway or for um just a present i don't know if i'm actually going to use it myself then this one, which actually is craft style paper, um, with little hearts on. Sorry, I get I get them all out, but they're all still in their cellophane wrapper, and it will take me ages to open these. Yeah, that one's nice. We have this one, sort of this peachy pink colour with gold hearts on, which I really like because it looks like they've been drawn on with all like a gold metallic marker. And sort of got this sort of homemade look to them it looks like i've drawn the hearts quite frankly so i really like sort of the sort of rough and readiness of this one we have this one which just says in glittery gold sparkle which i think is really pretty then we have glasses i've seen people on instagram with this tape and have really really wanted it and so i kind of freaked out a bit in hobbycraft when i saw it kept squealing in that place with excitement um it's not the exact one i wanted i really want the black and white one the white one with black glasses but this will do for now and then lastly cats of course because if i see cat to anything station re related i have to buy it i have no choice 
So yes, um, I'm trying to think how much these were. These ones were all £2 and I think these ones were £1.50 because these are the, like the Hobbycraft's own and these are all Dovecraft. But they're all 8 meter washi tapes. And I think, yes, that is it for my haul today. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I can't post any links because they were all bought from brick and mortar shops. So sorry about that. Um, but if you have any questions, please ask. And thank you very much for watching.